Oh, but Hello siblings, welcome to the video. I am so excited for today's video, so let's get into it. This vlog is going to take a little bit of backstory to update you on what's going on. It is currently February. I have two books that I need to read for this video that are not on my TBR for February. Let's talk about how we got here. I played this game with myself a few weeks ago. I entered a giveaway on Goodreads for the second book in a series or a companion novel in a series, I guess you could say, for a book I haven't read yet. I told myself if I won this giveaway just randomly because there were thousands of entries, I'm going to drop what I'm doing and pick up that first book and then read the second book before it comes out because it was an ARC giveaway. I did not expect to win. I have never won a Goodreads giveaway, especially for a popular book. And then yesterday, a random book from Simon & Schuster showed up at my door and I was very confused because nobody has my address and nobody sends me ARCs. I have never received one except for an author that reached out directly to me. So I was highly confused and when I opened it, I screamed so loud my toddler jumped and my husband thought I had injured myself. <laughs> so that should say how excited I am about these books, but I'm also very disappointed in myself because February's TBR was supposed to be dark romance and this is very much not that. This is sci-fi. Let's talk about the books because I am not doing dark romance in February anymore. I am going to focus on these books and my buddy read. The book that I won is an ARC of Loki's Ring. I am so excited for this. This is adult sci-fi. I believe they are queer coded. I could be wrong, but I believe that is why I was initially interested in Persephone Station. I am super excited. This is an uncorrected proof. This comes out March 28th of this year, so I have some time to get through this, but these are not thin books. They are both over 500 pages. It's going to take me a hot minute, <laughs> unless they're really, really good. I need to read Persephone Station so that I can get to this before March. Persephone Station is going to be the first book we read for this vlog and we will end up reading the second one as well. So you're gonna get both books. I don't know much of anything about this book other than when I first bought it, the reason I was attracted to it was this beautiful cover first off. I mean, just appreciate that for a second. But additionally, it's supposed to be queer, I believe. It is sci-fi. I believe it is space opera. And in the inside cover, it says a take on space opera for fans of the Mandalorian and Cowboy Bebop in this high stakes adventure. I don't like Cowboy Bebop personally, but I do like the thought of that queer. <laughs> and I did like the Mandalorian. This is very much in my genre. So I'm very excited. I know that we follow basically some people who live on this planet that's kind of a forgotten planet. And I believe the main character is not human. Don't quote me on this because I really don't know much about this. I know that there's an ex-marine in it. There's like a band of, you know, questionably morally gray characters that have to do something where they stand up to like an army or something like that. There's like a anti-corporation kind of vibe going on in this book. That's really all I know. I'm thoroughly excited. I have so much hope for this. <laughs> Let's get started with this. I just finished Electric Kingdom for my post-apocalyptic vlog, so I am not currently reading anything else. It's time to start a new book. Wish me luck. Hi, hello. So it is February 13th, a Monday, and I am now 20% of the way into Persephone Station. I did not make as much progress this weekend as I had hoped. It was just a crazy weekend, and that happens sometimes. You can't predict everything, especially in parenthood. Didn't make as much progress as I wanted to, but I did get to listen to music, watch some TV, and play some Animal Crossing, so I would call it a win, even though I didn't actually get to finish this out. I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna savor it. There's no worries. I'm currently on chapter 9, page 108. Wow. This is compared to Cowboy Bebop and The Mandalorian, I believe, and I think those are very, very accurate comparisons, at least thus far. I'm only 20% in, so I also won't have any spoilers in this video. Essentially, you follow several POVs, it seems, and 
I love that. It's a very like zoomed out story. It's very high mind. I will say that it is not a like laid back leisurely read. There is some heavy sci-fi concepts in here. I think that's amazing. I could see how some of the reviews said that they didn't connect with the characters. I counter that with I don't think this is one of those stories where you need to have this amazing character development. This is more about a higher set of concepts and themes and commentary than it is about individual characters and getting in their head and falling in love with them. Like a rom-com, you know, you really fall in love with the characters. This is not that. This is following so many characters that you're never going to really dive into just one. At least that's what it seems so far. I can see those reviews. If you were expecting super character heavy emotional read, this is not it. It's again, Cowboy Bebop, very like action, big overarching plots with politics and high-minded concepts. I will say I absolutely adore the casual queerness of this. It is so casually queer. There's not really any statements about that being made at all, which I really enjoy. It's just kind of a part of this world <laughs> and it's very inclusive. I love it. There's also a content warning for plagues in this. There is a um, illness <laughs> that does uh, wipe out some people. So if you uh, had a hard time during the COVID-19 pandemic, I would maybe not read this if you're sensitive to that. There's also just a ton of like warfare and anti-capitalism and <laughs> anti-corporation. I think so far this is an excellent book and I am so excited to continue on. I'm really sad that I have to put this down for a few days so you're not going to see me. Maybe I'll get some reading in if I can keep up on my buddy read. <laughs> I also got the audiobook from my library and audiobook is top tier really enjoying the audiobook it's not a full cast but I am enjoying it still I think it's really well narrated I actually think listening to it was easier for me to process the information than physically reading it I felt like I got a little bit confused reading it listening to the audiobook really kind of helped me understand the concepts a little better and like picture what was going on I'm gonna go do laundry as you can see that chair is covered in laundry and take a shower and do the cat box and we got chores to do my friends I am thoroughly enjoying this and I have a feeling you're gonna want to stick around for the review of this because this book be wild absolutely wild Hello, it is March 9th actually. I know, I know it's been a hot minute. We had some issues with the Dark Rise vlog, so go over and watch that video if you want a hot take. I am back reading Persephone Station today, so very excited. I actually listened to about 20 to 30 more pages yesterday while doing some chores, but the kid woke up early from her nap, so I didn't get as much reading done as I had wanted while I was cleaning, but today, is cleaning day. I'm getting the child down for a nap right now, which is why I look this way. I'm about to take a very quick shower and then I need to clean upstairs. There's just some things that have accumulated over here from when I went to work and just like tossed all of my work stuff and my work bag and everything on the chair. I need to go and organize the laundry room. I need to do the dishes and clean the kitchen counter because it's crusty because yesterday I made dinner and I made a mess and did not clean it up and I regret that. Clean as you go, future you will thank you. I didn't do that last night, so I'm regretting that. Today at 4 p.m. we are actually gonna go to the library down the street with a friend. I have a new mom friend. I know who am I? <laughs> Me making friends. Yeah, that's actually why I've been busy because we've been, you know, going to the grocery store together and, you know, hanging out together in addition to the other things I do, like going to work once a week. So it's just been like six or seven days of just go, 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 go. When normally I have a few days at home in a week. So I'm taking today to do that. And maybe even tomorrow, if I don't get everything done today, the kid is teething so bad so bad that it's been really hard to be productive. She's not napping more than like 45 minutes to an hour. Not fun. She is very sad and I am sad for her. <laughs> Going to go take a shower and everything and then get started listening to this. I am now 25% of the way through this, a quarter of the way, and I'm really enjoying it. I have no complaints so far. I'm really enjoying the aesthetic. I think it's very nice, very fun. I love the action and all of that. I love that you get to see a little more into the characters now. Before, you didn't really get much. 
and you still don't get a ton because this is like space opera which I personally don't mind my characters not being the focus that's just a personal opinion as long as the action and the story sounds interesting enough I'm in and so far I'm in we're sitting at I want to say like a three and a half star right now it hasn't wowed me at all but it is inoffensive there's good representation and it's very action-packed catch up with you on the flip side okay so i've showered i've had a small little breakfast lunch situation since it's 2 p.m i guess it was lunch and i did some of the house chores but i didn't actually get all of them quite done even though the kid took a really good nap i did listen to a lot of this book actually like 20 percent. so i'm at 40 percent of this book now wow i'm on chapter 14. very intrigued i'm really enjoying this book i know there's just a lot of mediocre reviews about it online we'll see how the ending goes i'm very optimistic that i'm going to enjoy this i can see the complaint they're not bothering me maybe i'm just used to colder stories with less interesting characters individually because i'm used to sci-fi with heavy plot because this is space opera like this is 100% about the plot and the world and the commentary happening and less about some moving character arc. I'm really enjoying the action. I love that it's a group of mercenaries. I love the conversations about indigenous peoples. I'm loving the conversations about aliens versus native people. All of it is very fascinating so far. I'm very excited to continue on. I don't know how much more reading I will get done today because I do think this book reads better better as an audiobook, although there have been some times that were written a little interestingly that I think would look better read with the eye. I think overall the plot and the pacing works really, really well as an audiobook. I don't listen to audiobooks much when the kid is awake because I need to hear the child and make sure she is safe. I will get back to this again tomorrow. I will keep you updated. <laughs> Hello my friends, it is Monday, March 13th. I painted my nails this morning because I was inspired by my best friend who is my opposite. I am 50% of the way through this book now and I am loving it loving it decided to be making some progress through this the intrigue it just keeps on rising did not realize there was a first contact with aliens kind of situation in this pleasant surprise yesterday we went to dollar tree because i needed to get some stuff for the kids birthday i got some yellow cups and these little sign decorations that say shine bright with suns her second birthday is going to be themed sunshine and yellow so everything will be yellow and sunshine and just brightness which is the opposite of me so i need to go find a yellow t-shirt or something to wear for that day because everyone's gonna wear yellow i also got some stuff from amazon i'll show you first is a rice storage bin this is supposed to hold up to 25 pounds of rice let's hope so because that's how much rice i have hopefully this will help with the giant bag of rice that just sits on the floor and then also for the party i got this off of amazon it's these little sunshine plates napkins and forks i think they're really cute this will be really adorable no matter what we do and then i also got these tablecloths with the same matching sun print on it very excited about this so the party's coming together i'm super excited i also set up a little bit of the dining table i put up a a yellow and blue bouquet because I think I might have to put a yellow and blue tapestry that is normally in the nursery <laughs> up on the dining room wall as a decoration since it's a giant sun with a blue background I thought it was really cute we'll see what I end up deciding to do I also got some little wooden moon hanging pieces that I'm going to put up in the guest bathroom downstairs because that bathroom doesn't have any decor and I think in theory these should fit really nicely in a little arc across the blank wall I need to update my journal the kid is napping right now so let's hope she naps for a little bit longer did buy a bunch of clothes from hot topic recently so i'll have a haul out for that pretty soon here's one of the shirts i'm currently in the process of revamping <laughs> my wardrobe because all i owned after having a kid was stuff that i used to wear for work at the library which was you know pretty neutral kid friendly kind of clothing that was like mildly professional and light and sunny I worked at a children's library 
And then I also had maternity stuff and breastfeeding stuff. So not a lot of cute things, really baggy clothes that just didn't fit me right. And prize, I'm not pregnant anymore. Those things are not gonna fit me. It doesn't make me happy. And I find myself at a loss every morning. So this is one of the shirts I got and I am obsessed. It is a very sunny day, which is kind of strange. I think maybe I'll take the kid on a walk after she wakes up from her nap and just continue to clean and fix up the house a little bit. But yeah, gonna whip out my audiobook and get going. I apologize for the dishwasher and the child. We make do with what we can here. It is Thursday, March 16th, and I am now 70% of the way through Persephone Station. I need to finish this so bad. I'm enjoying this so much, like so much. Definite like sci-fi space opera heist vibes with like war mechs now. We have mechs, how, but, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying all of the aspects of it. It's full of action and plot. I think the pacing is excellent and I have nothing to complain about. Take that out of your mouth. <coughs> Take it out of your mouth. I'm gonna go now. My kid needs water even though she has water. She wants it in a different cup. Here's my outfit for the day ripped skinny jeans, a crop top, a thick cardigan because it's so windy. Hello people, it is Monday, March 27th and I sound like <coughs> I have a cold which is really unfortunate. I have been reading since I've not really had a lot of energy to do things so I actually have been reading. I am now on chapter 28. I'm almost done with this book. I plan to take it really easy tonight and finish it out because I'm really enjoying it. The plot is really picking up. I really wanna know what happens. So very, very excited about that. I made taco soup over the weekend and it was so good and I've been eating it basically every meal that I don't cook something else for everyone. So like breakfast and lunch has been my taco soup recipe, but I just ate the last of the leftovers. I have a sore throat and some head pressure. I'm gonna go take some more day cool pretty soon because I'm due for another dose. Today I am taking the kiddo to her grandparents' house when she wakes up from her nap in about an hour because... I'm supposed to be going to a work conference tomorrow morning. So that's supposed to be tomorrow morning until Wednesday afternoon. We're spending the night in Palm Desert for this conference. It takes place over two days, so Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that if I take the kid over to the grandparents' house, come back home, take a nice long nap and then take it easy for the rest of the day and then get a good night's sleep that I will feel totally better Monday morning because I really want to go to this work trip. But either way, I win. Either I feel better and I get to go, yay, or I don't feel better and I have to stay home but then I get some nice time to myself where I can rest and read and just recover without having to worry about anybody. So ultimately, I win either way. I'll update you when I've read some more but right now we're in like the thick of the plot of this book. The like like, big battle is happening and I I can't put it down but I keep having to for like motherhood reasons very very excited very into it and hope I feel better at the next time I update you because I I realize I sound really bad right now I also painted my nails again I've been working really really hard to keep up on my nails see if I can do it I'm trying to grow them out goth queen vibes see you later Okay, hello my friends. It is April 2nd. I sound like this because I'm I'm very sick. Me and the kid got a cold two weeks ago that went away for a few days and then came back worse. Now I have a sinus infection on top of the cold, so I sound horrible and I feel horrible. It's been a while and I wanted to update you. I'm almost done with this. I only have about 15% left, I think. Yeah, I'm on 447 out of 489 so only 40 pages left i think i can finish this this week i i hope so because we're starting the aurelia magical readathon now i know i've been reading this book forever but welcome to life that's that's part of being an adult having responsibilities things are gonna happen sometimes i am gonna finish persephone station 
and then we will get on to Loki's rings in part two of this series. Cannot wait. So far, I am really enjoying this. I will have some minor criticisms to share with you after I have finished it in my final wrap up for this video. I'm very excited to move on to Loki's ring because I enjoyed this quite a bit. So far, we're sitting at like a four stars, maybe 4.5, but I'll round down to four. Anyway, my nose is running, so I will talk to you later when I sound better. Okay, hello friends. So I have officially finished Persephone Station by Stina Light and wow, I am going to end up giving this four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I think this is really great for people who enjoy space operas with not too much character depth, but just enough. It definitely does live up to the hype of Cowboy Bebop and The Mandalorian. Very good comparisons, personally. I really enjoyed this book. I wish I had been recording when I finished this book out on audiobook because I actually was crying for the last three chapters of this book, which is surprising because most of the reviews on Goodreads said that this book didn't have very much character in it, and I agree, it's not a romance or something with deep character development and you don't really get a good vision into each character but you do get to see some characters go through some things and you do get to see some development by the end. The events alone <laughs> were enough to carry this book for me. I really enjoyed the pacing of this book. I felt like it was really fast. I did not feel like I was reading a 500 page book at all. My actual main critique of the book would be that I don't think it was long enough. I think the intense themes that are sci-fi related, which was a lot of them, it's a standalone, and I felt like we didn't get to dive into all of them as much as we could have. I additionally felt like sometimes I would finish a chapter and it would switch to a new POV and the plot would move forward between those two chapters and there would be a missing chunk and I felt like we really could have benefited from seeing some of those scenes. For example, no spoilers, there's a scene with Kennedy, if you know, you know, and we don't get to see her experience with this crew of mercenaries and their transition of power and I feel like that was a really big lost opportunity. I would have loved to see that personally and we just missed it because this book was already pretty long even though I think it wasn't long enough. I think this book could have easily been 600, 800 pages and it would have been five out of five stars. <laughs> My only other nitpick I would say is that the author, Stina Light, uses Persephone said, Kennedy said, Suki said, like it says that over and over and over and over again. It just keeps saying so-and-so said in a single conversation, which listening to the audiobook does not sound very good. It didn't flow very well in some of those conversations, but very nitpicky. I got used to it at some point and it doesn't happen constantly. It just happens when there's a really intense back and forth conversation. Most of this book is like planning and logistics, not as common in those situations. End of this book had me super sobbing and emotional, especially as a parent. I was blown away by the end of this book. I was sitting at a 3.5 stars until I got to the last few chapters and that bumped it to a four star for me. I really enjoyed this and I cannot wait to get to Loki's Ring, which is next on my list. Stay tuned for part two when I read Loki's Ring by Stina Light. I'm very excited. I hope some of the issues I had with Persephone Station will not be there in this book. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope to see you in part two. Stay safe and stay kind, siblings. Bye.